pageant, ladies and gentlemen. Contestant number 23, Whitney Page. Contestant number 21, Desiree. Contestant number 19, Amaya. Okay, contestant number 11, Fahrenheit. And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number 25, Trixie. All right. In the last week, there have been three very important things in the news. The future change of Social Security, the death of Terry Schiavo and the death of the Pope. Which one of these most affect you and why? Ladies and gentlemen, Fahrenheit. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Panel of judges, I am contestant number 11, finalist number one, and my name is Fahrenheit. In answer to the first part of the question, the um, news matter that affects me most is the passing of Terry Schiavo for one very important reason. My father is a paraplegic. He had a tumor on his spinal cord, and he had it operated on numerous times before it severed his spinal cord in half. When he went in for these surgeries, they made my father sign over his will to life to my mother, and it was up to her to take care of him and decide how the rest of his life was going to live out. On the operating table one day, my father's heart stopped beating and he laid there and the monitors went blank and the doctors looked and they asked for my mother's permission and my mother said, please bring him back and they did. And this day, my father, he couldn't be here tonight because he couldn't travel in the weather, but he supports me 8,010%. And I look at the loss, I look at the loss of Terry Schiavo and an innocent woman who didn't choose to be that way, but happened to be that way, who counted on her family and her loved ones to take care of her and give her that last breath and that last hope, because everybody deserves that. Not only my father, but Terry Shiva as well. I'm sorry she is gone, but she has set a legacy for those that are going to follow in human rights cases. I want to thank you very much. I'm contestant number 11. The, well. I'm not Catholic, so the Pope didn't affect me much. It's very sad, but it didn't affect me much. And I'm not old enough to get Social Security, so I don't have much to say about that. But I, along with all of you here in the house tonight, should all be affected by the death of Terry Schiavo, not just because she had to struggle throughout the 15 years of her life in that horrible place and live a slow, painful death. But ladies and gentlemen, as gay individuals, we're not allowed to get married in a legal stating binding contract. So we have no one to take care of us in a situation such as that. So Ms. Shivo was fortunate enough to have a husband who made a vow to her, through death do us part. And ladies and gentlemen, when she made that vow to him, she gave him the right to decide when they should part. Thank you. But we, but let's not forget that as gay individuals, we can still have a living will. We can still go to our attorneys and we can still have them write it to let the people know whoever it comes down to make that decision for us. We can let them know what we want to do when it comes to that point in our life. Whether you want to live your life as a vegetable in a hospice house or whether you want to live your life with God up above, it's your choice. So please, I, I instill in all of you to go to your lawyers and get that done. And ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, Ms. Shivo is just a human being like all of us and she has a right to die with respect and she has a right to die with due process. So I feel sorry for her family who could not let her pass on and be in a better place, but I praise God that she had the binding contract of marriage so that her husband could decide when that should happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I'm your contestant number 19, competing for Miss Continental Plus tonight, and my name is Amaya. Good night. 
In response to the question, I must say Social Security. Social Security was established for hardworking people to have something for when they get old. And I believe that we should have gotten out and voted for the right president. I have nothing wrong with Bush, other than the fact that he's wrong. <laughs> he's been wrong. And he probably will always be wrong. You know, Social Security is very important, and I don't know about any of you guys, but a lot of female impersonators don't get involved with things like that as far as, like, I file taxes on drag. I'm saving every receipt, every wig I buy, every lash, and I do my taxes because, trust me, you're going to need Social Security because everybody is going to get old, and it's very important that we take care of our own and each other while we have the chance to do so. Ladies and gentlemen and judges, I am contestant number three, Ms. Desiree DeMornay. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you, Carmela. Good evening, judges and everyone. All three affect me because I'm a human being. I'm going to get old. And the reason I say that, I'm going to get old, so I'm going to need Social Security. I'm a religious person, so I have to believe in the Pope. But more importantly, I believe in life. And I believe in the choices that we make with our siblings and our lovers and our husbands. And I think that if I tell my, my lover to pull the plug, I should have that you know, in me to tell him know that. And life is so important, we take it for granted. But I don't want to suffer, and I don't want him to suffer, or anyone in my family to suffer, because someone else chooses for me, when I've made that choice for myself. So Tero Saivo has really hit me at home. It really hits me, hits me in my heart. But back to the question, all three means more important than me, because I am a human being. Thank you. To answer the question this evening, I would have to say the death of the Pope. Being ladies and gentlemen, my real name is Edwin Dobsky. I'm half Polish, and he was the first pope to be a pope who was Polish in over 400 years. We've always had an Italian pope, and this was the very first Polish pope. And so for my grandfather who came over straight from Poland, it was something I was raised with and something that I was very proud of. Even though as a person who was born gay, some of the things he said I didn't really jive with, obviously. <laughs> obviously. But for me, I would have to say the Pope, ladies and gentlemen, for the reasons I just said. Thank you so much. I have had a wonderful time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm contestant number 25, finalist number five, Miss Trixie Deluxe. Have a wonderful evening.